I want y'all to read this. Pause it. Please share this video. Man, it's so important. So many people are not listening. I said this was coming this year. Next year. Soon. And then listen to this. I've had this dream of the red dust storms. John the Revelator came to me in, the, in my dream of, of the red dust storms. Listen. Simpleton in the mind. You can't read into the propaganda. Please you have to take a step back reasons. and see what's actually happening. All the while, you're going to notice. You're going to notice God's people. They're going to begin to behave differently. And I'm talking about those in Israel. They're going to begin to do things a bit differently. They're going to get that nudge in the spirit that was spoken of in the Old Testament. They're going to operate differently. They're going to have a resolve about them. This is their time. They know what they have to go through. Right? They know what they have to go through. All, the, all those folks over there, they know exactly what they have to go through. It's already prophesied. And God's prophecies do not fail. They know. We know some of what we have to go through if we can actually believe it. The dust storms are coming. Mm. It will be red dust. It's mingled. I saw this. The standard dust. We're not talking about the Sahara dust. The earth will be pummeled first. Then when it gets real bad, the others will show up. The ancient ones will begin to reveal themselves. Right now, they're implanted everywhere. When they reveal themselves, they're going to mess up people's paradigm of what reality is. Your reality should not be moved at all. A great shaking is coming. Somebody says, how far away? Here, here's a problem. Here's a hmm. problem. People should have been preparing for this four years ago. That's a problem. Four years ago was the opportune time. Almost like the last bracket to really start getting a person prepared, which means right now we have to do a quick work. A quick work. And I pray the Lord does want to in your lives. A quick work. You see, we as humanity... We have taken advantage of God's grace and mercy we have. He's given us freedom. And in that freedom, let me tell you what we really did. And don't let me offend you, but what we really did was we gave ourselves time. Did we not? We came up with everything to attempt to enjoy the world. Giving ourselves time on God's things. The crunch. It crunch time is now. Tell my people that ain't listening, wake up and y'all better listen. I say this with stern, tough love. We don't have too much more time. Hope y'all ready for that. Hope y'all ready for that. Are you ready? Are you truly walking in righteousness? Are you truly listening to sound doctrine? Or are we listening to... Uh, prosperity pimps that let their female daughters and wives preach behind the pulpit. Hmm. Huh? It's not a coincidence or accident that I reveal and, and share and expose these things. But y'all ain't listening. Y'all don't have ears to hear or eyes to see. Yahshua is coming. And I, many of my people aren't ready. We ain't ready. I mean, we ain't ready at all. We are over here taking time for granted. we <laughs> boy, wait until this happens. This is going to happen. This right here is going to happen. You see this? You see all that? You see the total chaos? I said this this year, last year, I was, I was sounding the trumpet, sounding the trumpet. No one want to listen. No one want to listen. This is my confirmation, people. This is my confirmation. That right there is my confirmation. Why aren't y'all listening? Why, why are y'all ignoring 
a man of God sounding the trumpet. Why? Because I got hand tattoos. Because I don't listen to what you listen to because it's not sound doctrine. Man, wake up, my people. Wake up. This is coming. And we ain't ready. We're too busy and worried about if Trump's getting in office. Trump ain't going to save you. Biden ain't going to save you. Government ain't going to save you. IRS ain't going to save you. CIA. Now, all the alphabet letters ain't going to save us. I guess y'all are sons of darkness because y'all won't listen, huh? Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. How many more times do I have to reveal this? And how many more times do I got to show videos of confirmation? I've already seen and heard this last year. Last year, my people. Last year, my people. Are you ready? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready, house. I don't think you're ready, brother. I don't think you're ready, sisters. I don't think you're ready, pastor. I don't think you're ready, homies. I don't think you're ready. Mm-mm. I don't think you're ready. You ain't ready. Y'all better put the armor of God on. You better put the armor of God on. Here, I'll say it five more times. You better put the armor of God on. 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 Stay prayed up. Can I get an amen? Can I get a thumbs up? Can I get a share this? Can I get an amen? Huh? Man, y'all ain't ready. Y'all ain't ready. What are you, sons of light or sons of darkness? Which 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 path you gonna choose, my people? Which path you gonna choose? This coming. See the missiles right there? See the flying scrolls? Hmm? Huh? Do you not understand? Oh my goodness, y'all ain't ready. Y'all better get right with God. You better go down in Jesus Christ's name. You better go down in Yahshua Hamashiach's name. You better praise Almighty Yahweh to the day you die. Every day you wake up and you got an extra breath to live. You better walk in righteousness. Amen.